Howdy. You know who I am? You know what I do? It's my job to keep you alive should you find yourself lost, stranded, marooned, alone in the wilds. Now, if you feel like that's something you don't need to know, well, you can just turn your 72-inch flat-screen Sanyo television off right now, even though it's a wonderful brand of television. I happen to own three of them myself. And you march your butt out in the woods, and when you find yourself face-to-face -face with death, I hope you regret it. When you wake up half-digested in the belly of a grizzly sow, I want you to remember that you thought you were above all this. If you find yourself writhing in agony on the banks of a boggy marsh because you ate the wrong species of swamp tuber and your kidneys are shutting down and everything's going dark, I want you to remember that you didn't think you needed to learn these things. My name is Tex Montana and I will survive. Will you? One thing you gotta remember about survival, especially in the winter time, is logs are good for sitting down on. Keeps your butt off the, off the floor, cause it's cold. Also, if you've got the time, you can make a giant canoe. Oh God. <laughs> can't, even, can't even improv in the cold. I have climbed to the summit of Mount Everest in a simulator that I developed with Ubisoft in Montreal. I was the first one in that simulator to the peak of Everest. I beat the Sherpas and I even told them when I was making the game, make sure the Sherpas are the fastest Sherpas and the strongest Sherpas that you got and I still beat them. You know, the only person who really knows where I am right now is a guy named Leroy. See, when the network thought I was going to a certain place and they dropped me off and they gave me a little GPS tracking device. I flagged down an animal control officer and I paid him $175 to drive me 66 miles further away from where they thought I was. He walked me out in the middle of the woods. I blindfolded myself, I count to a thousand. One, two, three, four. When I opened my eyes, he was gone. Well, 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 now look at what we have here. Oh, all right. The signs of life are everywhere in the forest. You just gotta keep your eyes open and be observant. And one of those signs is right here. Have a look. Now this is what we call Connecticut Cocoa Puffs, also known as Catskill Cocoa Puffs, also known as Mississippi Marbles, and better known as deer pellets. That's right, deer droppings. Now animal excrement can be used in all sorts of survival techniques. One of them that works real good for, especially when you got a big clunk of shit like this, is fire tinder. The animal diet is rich in shrubbery. And when the stomach of the deer compacts it down, it almost becomes like a little natural piece of charcoal. And it's real good for getting a fire going and keeping it going real long. So that you can keep for later, start your fire with. Another thing that people don't know about deer pellets is they contain a lot of nutrients and a lot of hydration. So if you're walking along on a cold hike and you're getting dehydrated, you can just pop one of these little bad boys right in your mouth and kind of stick it under your, under your lip, almost like a piece of chaw. And then, you know, as your, the warmth of your mouth melts the deer pellet, it's going to hydrate you and it's going to give you a little bit of a nutrient burst to keep you going that extra mile. I'm not above it. 